Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Tyronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges, take advantage of the opportunities and assistance aspecting you, and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Now, remember, this is a weekly update, so you should definitely check your sun, moon, and rising sign videos so that it paints a clearer picture of what you'll be dealing with from the 12th through September the 18th. Now, if you don't know your chart, don't hesitate to contact me via messenger or you can email me at mentalchattermusings at gmail.com to get a natal chart analysis or even a tarot reading. This month, Mental Chatter Musings newsletter is highlighting two prolific authors from the indie and traditionally published worlds, one being Stephanie M. Freeman, the other being Monica Walters. Now, I implore you to tap into this month's newsletter to check out the sneak peeks for Stephanie's upcoming novel, Season of the Blood, which you can expect to see in October. Also, I would love for you to dive into Monica Walters' Blindsided by Love. Both of those sneak peeks can be found in this month's newsletter. Now, continue to leave reviews for Deadliest Intuition. All of those leaving Amazon reviews will be entered into the drawing to receive one of three cash gift cards that will be given away for the month of September. In addition to that, you can also expect to be put in a raffle to receive one of the autograph copies of The Shortest Boss in the Room for Your Little Entrepreneur. Now, Diane will be back with Aubrey Penn on, tw on the 23rd with uh, Diamonds World on Clubhouse at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, of course. I'll announce that again closer to the date. Until then, please continue to tap into ICU reading and chatting for the impromptu freestyles during Freestyle Friday. If you'd like to participate as an artist in Freestyle Friday, don't hesitate to contact Ebony Evans. She's the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. Now, without any further ado, we're going to get into the astrology portion of your reading. If you have any placements within three degrees of the degree that I mentioned, the energies will impact you more strongly. So having your chart available helps so much to pin down these predictions. I'll see you over there, guys. Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign people. Welcome to your astrology portion of your reading. Venus is at its detriment in Scorpio, yet it's trying its best to sprinkle some goodness on our passions, sure finances, endings, new beginnings that we're facing or either trying to bring to fruition. If you have any placements within three degrees, more or less than the degree that I mentioned, these energies will affect you and your life more strongly. Now on Sunday, September the 12th, the sun is in Virgo at 20 degrees. It's calling for us to be a bit more thrifty when it comes to wasting our resources. You or someone else you're dealing with can be a bit tight on the purse strings today. The moon in Sagittarius at seven degrees will sextile Saturn in Aquarius. This is an opportunity or even some assistance coming, whether it's through family or an acquaintance, a goal is accomplished. And this actually could be a blessing for you, being your sign is currently housing the uh, asteroid Chiron for healing. And it's trining your area of romance, play, and affection which in turn is training long distance travel, education, and skills. So this could be healing something even through travel. Um, I'd say uh, that has to do with romance, play, affection, or maybe even a child. 
Okay. Um, either way, whether it's through family or an acquaintance, a goal is accomplished. With the South Node aspecting, this could be one of your lower vibrations, <laughs> of course. Um, but either way, it's easing some sort of restriction or responsibility, maybe even hurt feelings that took place from the outburst uh, during or from an outburst during the Scorpio moon just last night. Now, moving along on Monday, September the 13th, you know what? Let me say this. Um, if it was some sort of outburst that happened the night before, um, you know, hurt feelings and things like that can be soothed, provided the blame game is dropped or the fault finding is extinguished. Okay, remember that. Now, on Monday, September the 13th, the sun is in Virgo at 21 degrees. Don't be schmoozed, charmed, or swindled by someone on Monday. Flattery gets some people everywhere. Remember that on Monday. Now the sun in Virgo is at 21 degrees. It's going to square the moon in your sector of long distance travel, education, and skills, what you think, what you preach. Somewhere during uh, work, health, or even your daily routines, there's going to be some sort of clash with what you think and preach. Even uh, if it deals with, uh, it might not just be about what you say or, or what you're all about. It could even be uh, have to do with education, your education, or you at school. Or uh, this could clash could happen, uh, be happening at a distance from you. If you're traveling long distances, you could deal with delays or possibly even arguments during travel. Traveling with pets could also be a hassle. Now, the moon in Sagittarius is going to sextile Mercury in Libra at 17 degrees on Monday as well. So this is, uh, you know, the south node. Uh, you getting some type of opportunity communicated to you through a partnership um, uh, or some type of assistance. It could be at a distance from you also. It could be an offer to travel. Uh, the South Node, with the South Node involved, it could be uh, fun, <laughs> but it not exactly what's healthy or best for you. Um also, it could be someone, something as small as someone shouting you out with Mercury in the mix. Now, on Tuesday, September the 14th, the sun is in Virgo at 22 degrees. You could get some public recognition, whether you want it to be known or not. The moon in Capricorn around zero degrees is going to square Mars and Libra. A partnership and career or one that holds some relevance in your life could see some friction in communication, okay? Now, the moon in Capricorn is also going to sextile Venus in Scorpio at four degrees. This is an opportunity to assist your transformation through romance, finances, or pleasure as it pertains to your shared finances, something coming in or something you're passionate about. Even sex endings or new beginnings are in the mix here. There's some sort of opportunity or assistance to have those endings you want to have to create new beginnings or uh, a uh, rump in the hay. <laughs> now, um, on Tuesday... The last thing I want to talk about as far as Tuesday, uh, the 14th, Mars moving into Libra. Uh, it's going to be there for quite some time. It's not just on Tuesday. Uh, whether it's you being overprotective or uh, uh, pious, issues can arise. You know, beware of causing uh, hurt to someone physically or even mentally relationships can see trouble under this transit, okay? Now, it's not going to be just on Tuesday. It's got to go through 29 degrees of Libra. So day by day, it's going to go through. And as it comes over whatever nodes you have in Libra, um, you know, as it brushes over those placements in your chart, that's where you could see some restrictions 
or, or some uh, issues or responsibilities placed on you, um, especially as it pertains to uh, your placements, I would say, in um, Cancer or Capricorn. OK, so that would be career or home and family for you. OK, challenges. So wherever you have cancer placements or Capricorn placements in your chart. Right around that degree. You know, it heralds. When Libra comes across when I'm sorry, when Mars comes across that degree, that's when you'll start feeling those challenges. OK, within that partnership. So some people are starting right out the gate on Tuesday, you know, because they are around that zero to three degree mark. And as it moves, it'll come toward you. Now, it's not all bad, you know, with Mars being here, um, squaring, of course, our transformation that we're trying to make. So it's squaring Pluto in Capricorn for you. Um, so, you know... Take this as an opportunity to put more energy into uh, relationships, to put more effort into understanding and compromising uh, during relationships, provided you're not compromising your uh, moral beliefs or standards. Um, but you do want to be compassionate as to others under this uh, transit. OK, now. For the next 30 days, starting on Tuesday. The transit will award blessings toward your Aquarius and Gemini placements. So toward your goals, your friends, social groups, um, I would say siblings, short distance travel, your networks of people. Those placements will garner uh, even neighborhoods and neighbors and things like that. Those placements will garner some type of blessings coming your way. So. Remember, once Mars trines, I would say Saturn in Aquarius and Jupiter in Aquarius, you'll have some sort of blessing that comes your way through hard work, through the restrictions and responsibilities you've been seeing, or even from them. The blessing will relieve you from them. And where you have Gemini placements in your chart, this is where your North Node is. You'll have blessings toward your highest aspirations, something happening through siblings, through your networks of people, through neighbors, through um, communication. Some blessing is communicated to you that forges you toward your highest aspirations within a partnership. Okay, so you have that to look forward to during this next 30 days because of Mars. Mars doesn't only bring the chaos or challenges, but it also rewards you when it's at an angle of blessing or even assistance and opportunity. Speaking of assistance and opportunity, the areas of assistance and opportunity for this transit is Sagittarius and your Leo placements. You trying those, so this is an added blessing for you. So when Libra or Mars, should I say, comes across your nodes, okay, when it moves as it's moving from zero to 29 degrees, when it comes across your Sagittarius placements, you can expect some type of assistance or opportunity through a relationship that you see as a blessing. Of course, it could be easing the South Node. Um, it could be catering to your South Node. So it could be some type of um, lower vibrational uh, fulfillment, you know, um, going out to eat, uh, you know, uh, with a sibling, going uh, going drinking or, or something like that. It could be some, some lower vibration. Now, Leo, your sector of romance, creative endeavors, uh, play and children. It's also going to receive some type of assistance and opportunity through a relationship you harbor. Once the planet Mars comes across your nodes in Sagittarius or Leo, um, we're talking about Leo now. So if you have your chart available, you know 
that you're going to receive some type of, uh, and this might be an assistance, uh, this might be some assistance or opportunity to relieve yourself of some challenges you've been facing within a relationship that has to do with a child, a lover, or a creative uh, endeavor. So like I said, Mars is not all bad. Look to see in your chart where you have these Leo and Sagittarius placements and expect that assistance and opportunities and relief. Look in your chart to see where you have those Aquarius and Gemini placements. And that is where you will see or when you will see those blessings coming your way. Typically, the planet moves a degree a day. It's going to start on Tuesday at zero degrees in Libra. Okay, at zero degree. And then it's going to go across a degree a day. And that's when you can expect your challenges, your assistance and opportunities, or your blessings when it comes across your degree for the next 30 days. Okay, starting Tuesday. Now let's talk about, go back to the single transits. I'll stop lecturing you. On Wednesday, September the 15th, the sun is in Virgo at 23 degrees. Take some time alone, even away from family, if it's needed, especially if they're not in alignment with your goals, okay? This is about work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others, all right? Some people just vibrate on different levels, okay? It doesn't have to be family. It could be people at work. It could be, you know, people you see during your daily routines. You need to maintain a high vibration that is imperative, now, the moon in Capricorn at 19 degrees will square Mercury and Libra. So communication within a partnership that you deal with in career or whatever it is you master in life can be a source of friction, delays, or holdups, you know, especially as it pertains to that transformation that you're trying to have because Pluto is in Capricorn as well, okay, uh, you know, in career or mastery of yourself. Now, still, there is a reprieve on this day because the sun in Virgo, your sector of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others, will trine the moon in Capricorn, your sector of career and mastery, around the 23-degree mark. So a blessing surfaces at work, in health, or even during your daily routines. This assists your transformation. This partnership can't hold you down. Now, in con in uh, in conjunction and in conjunction between the sun and Virgo and Jupiter and Sagittarius around 23 degrees is going to also illuminate an opportunity of some kind or some assistance of some kind that comes your way, like I said, through work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. Now, on Thursday, September the 16th, the sun is in Virgo, trining Pluto in Capricorn, which blesses some sort of transformation you are undergoing. Maybe the blessing is help with finances or some sort of sound advice as to where you are to go from here. This could happen at work or during one of your daily routines. It could even have to do with health for you. Sincere friends can show up under this sun on Thursday. Okay, now Mars and Libra around the one degree mark is going to try the moon in Aquarius. So tension or challenges within a partnership is going to see some sort of relief, a goal accomplished, maybe through a friend on that day. On Friday, September the 17th, the sun is in Virgo at 25 degrees under the sun aspect, the love and success you garner is going to bring some hate from another, whether it's at work, whether it's, it has to do with health, whether it's during your daily routines or has to do with a small pet, you're going to receive some type of hate. Be mindful of how you obtain your goals and reserve the impulse to be forceful. The green-eyed monster definitely rears its ugly head on, I would say, uh, Friday. OK, and it's going to have to do with work, health, daily routines and where you are of service to others for you. By the way, 
that area clashes with what you think and preach. It clashes with long distance travel. So that might happen during long distance travel or even travel period because it clashes with uh, short distance travel as well. It also could have to do with a sibling or even a neighbor. All right. Those are the areas that are squaring that area. It could be just someone in your networks of people or community. Either way, be expecting that that jealousy, especially if you have placements around that 25 degree mark, whether in Gemini, Virgo or Sagittarius. Now, on Saturday, the 18th, the sun is in Virgo at 26 degrees. If at first you don't succeed, try again with a bit more experience under your belt or effort. <laughs> Success requires training along with great effort. Maintain your focus and then get out there and put in the work for whatever it is you're trying to accomplish on Saturday. Blessings to you and I will see you guys next week or I'll talk to you guys next week. Hello, my Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign people. Welcome to the tarot portion of your reading for the week of September 12th through 18th. Now, permeating your entire reading is the star card. So this is about hope. This is about, um, I wouldn't necessarily say a, a test of faith, but, you know, this is about hope and serenity. The star talks about um, an increased level of, you know, inspiration or hope. Um, you've reached a point to where uh, past experiences can make a dream come true. Now, um, uh, there's a couple different scenarios, a few different scenarios for cards that you had come out. So let's talk about those Um you know, especially as it pertains to your, your dreams, because one of the cards that I had come out for you was the Nine of Swords card. Now, the Nine of Swords card talks about dreams and uh, nightmares, actually severe depression, maybe falling apart due to anxiety and this money or, or I'm sorry, this anxiety um, or depression seems to be over some type of inheritance, wealth, uh, establishment, maybe even retirement or some type of money uh, due to the family and things like that. Um, it, it seems like that's something that you're looking over or looking at, whether you're going to have this money or, you know, obtain this money. But you have the Ten of Pentacles as well. Um, I'm sorry, not the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, you do have the Ten of Pentacles, but <laughs> I meant to say that you have the Ten of Swords as well. And the Ten of Swords talks about some type of defeat or loss or um, endings that you feel are a bit harsh, but you will move past them um, easier than you think. Okay, and new opportunities will come your way. In fact, um, there's communication coming towards you. There's some type of speedy communication coming your way. And I can see that anyway, uh, aspect that with the moon card, the moon card talks about something more being illuminated as to your path or which way you're going to go. Now, this fast communication that is coming your way is regarding the nine of wands. It's regarding some type of test of faith you have had, some type of resilience or courage you've had to show. Okay. Um, if work is speeding up, go ahead and go with that accelerated work um, because discipline and order will pay off. And like I said, you have fast communication coming your way. Um, I, don't, I mean, some of you could be traveling um, somewhere to get this news or communication, um, but either way, there's some type of communication coming your way, letting you know what to do with this. Now, while you're getting this illumination about your world changing, where you've had strength, it could have to do with a romantic uh, partner. It could also have to do with a creative endeavor or a child, you know, either one, just because the strength card came out, which is the, the Leo card. So you could be a Leo rising or moon, or this could be uh, talking about 
your sector of romance, play, and affection, and even children. Now, you have the Page of Pentacles aspecting. So, you know, uh, within a creative endeavor for children or through a romantic partner, there could be some type of financial opportunity, okay? Because the, the Page of Pentacles came out. And the Page of Pentacles represents some hard work, some type of... um some type of money coming in, whether it's a new job you manifested or a financial opportunity, it's coming your way. You're getting more information as to that, but the page is a beginning message. So whether it comes by mail, uh, email or, or, uh, word of mouth, you should still avoid wasteful spending so that you can be in good shape down the road. Okay. Don't overindulge just because of this message telling you that you're going to be doing well. All right. That's very important for you, but you are going to have some type of celebrations illuminated for you this week. Some type of uh, celebration with friends, um, you know, childbirth could be indicated for some people, you know, because new projects, you know, are taking place. But the, the three represents some type of accomplishment and healing, um, a renew, renewal of some sort of friendship. OK, so there is going to be some type of celebration um, illuminated, you know, that you're going to feel good about or put you in the sun, maybe even with uh, friends, if it's not a, you know, love relationship growing or, uh, having to do with a child. Okay. Um, make sure that you spend time appreciating this celebration. Okay. Because when you appreciate things and you're thankful for things, you, um, you know, you show divine and, uh, the universe, how happy you are and appreciative you are. And it prompts you to receive more. So stay tuned for the, um, or actually this is the tarot portion of your reading. So this is where we part ways. And I guess I will see you again next week. Bye now. Blessings to you.